Okay, apparently this game thinks I have a very fond relation with the number 8, because that seems to be the only score I can get for the landing impact points. And I need at least a 10 to, you know, actually do something with that, so... I'm kind of in the dark here. I don't exactly know what the game's asking for. See, I'm like right in the middle of the target. However, the game will randomly decide to give me eight landing impact points. See, like, I can't get any more than that. Every single time. I don't know what they want me to do. Because I can get perfect formation and accuracy, but landing impact, it's like, it doesn't work. Even, if I, even when I don't use the flare, it still gives me eight. When I use the flare, it gives me eight, and like, I just can't, you know, get any higher than eight. And 88, ironically. So, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. I'll keep trying, but if this takes a whole recording session just to do this one level, then I might have to change my gold medal conditions here. Okay, if I get an 88 again this time... I'm just gonna stop because I'm I'm seriously sick of this mission. I'm sick and tired of doing it. A silver badge is good. It's probably as best as I'm gonna even do for this mission, so screw it. If I get an 88, I'm going on to the next one. I don't really care. That's how mad I am at this game right now. N not even the game. I'm mad at the this mission because this is ridiculous. Now that was pretty good. However. Oh, come on! Screw it. Screw it. I don't care. Nope, no, no, that's a gold badge. That's, I, uh, nope, 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 that's it. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, screw it. I'm done. I'm done. Screw that game. Screw it. Screw it. Okay, next one. <laughs> okay, so Skydive Level 3. Uh, Everfrost Island. Now, this one's kind of unique because the target actually isn't at ground level. It's actually pretty high up, so you kind of have to think fast with your, uh, when you open your chute, because you're not going to have a very long fall. And of course, the, uh, whatever these things are, the uh, formations are also a lot more difficult as well. So yeah, for the skydiving missions, I'm just going to go for silver, I guess. I'm just, I just can't handle a gold for these. I just can't do it. I, I, I have no idea what to do for the landing impact. I have no idea. I mean, I actually looked at some guides off camera, like in between recordings, and they actually suggested that I use the flare, unlike the game, which said to avoid using the flare, and that didn't really seem to do much difference, so... Yeah, I kind of debate how helpful that tip was. And the game didn't exa it didn't exactly help either, so yeah, I'm kind of at a loss of what the whole landing impact thing is about. So yeah, if you couldn't tell, um, the landing pad is actually much higher in the air this time. You're going to have to watch the target very carefully, especially since you're surrounded by freaking mountains all around, so... Yeah, this target's actually pretty difficult to land on. You know why? Even if I get a bronze, I might, like, not even do this mission over. I mean, you've seen the skydiving, and what the sk skydiving consists of. I probably don't need to show you much else here. Because I actually want to get on to the uh, next mission, which is actually my favorite of the side games. And I might do that again, just because that was a terrible landing. Yeah, and I got, like, very bad landing impact as well. Okay, so yeah, I'll retry this one. Okay, here we go, attempt number two for, uh, level three skydiving. Can't see where the target is. Okay, it's right there. Uh, this is gonna be a very, very, very tricky landing. It would just be a lot better if this was closer to the ground level, but 
I understand they wanted to make it, you know, challenging at least because, I mean, ground level is really not that challenging since you can look at, you know, the meters above sea level. Can't really do that for this one. Okay, so... Okay, that was decent, so you know what, if I get a silver, I'm just gonna stop there. It's honestly not worth going for the gold. Yeah, not worth it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so unfortunately this is no longer a complete gold badge playthrough. Don't blame that on me, blame that on the stupidness that is the skydiving missions. And from getting uh, silvers on all the skydiving courses, you unlock the Crescent Island Birdman course. And to unlock the last one, you guessed it, you have to get all silvers on this final course. The Jumble Hopper, which is perhaps my favorite of these minigames. Uh, for these games, I actually recommend you use the lighter characters, and I'm actually going to use Kiwi. Even though her very high voice kind of scares me a little bit. Okay, for the Jumble Hopper, jump to the goal area. Two points will be deducted from your score each time you land in water. Basically, for the Jumble Hopper, is you get these very, very nifty spring shoes. And you basically get to use them to jump to the targets. Scoring, you only have time points, and that's really all you have to worry about, time. Time and not getting points deducted from touching water. Um, controls, you use the uh, control stick for adjusting directions. And you can also, you, you point them up and down to adjust the angles for jumping. So, if you know, if you, if you press the control stick forward, um, you're going to, you know, jump more horizontal. But if you, oh wait, no. What am I thinking? Oh no, okay, if you hold the control stick forward, you'll jump forward. And if you hold it backwards, you'll jump backwards. So, yeah. Uh, you can also switch viewpoint, move the camera eye, and then also you can change the altitude of the jump by using the A button. I think if you hold on to it, um, you'll actually do a very high jump. But if you like hold on to it for a little bit and then you know press forward, you'll do kind of like a giant forward leap or something. But yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, first one we have is Triple Jump. It takes place on the Holiday Island course. And as the name of the mission suggests, you really only need like a triple jump right here. This is a very, very, very short one. However, it's actually pretty difficult to get 100 points here because you really have to be exact with your jumps. And there's no way I'm getting it perfect after that. But that should still be a gold right there. And yeah, that's pretty much what the Jumble Hopper is. Um, thankfully, the next two missions aren't as short as that. And they actually, you know, require a bit more skill to actually complete. If you couldn't tell, that first mission was really just to, you know, get you used to the controls and stuff. Anyways, here is the second Jumble Hopper mission. This one takes place at Crescent Island. Uh, basically, for this one, you're going to be going around the entire island to get to the goal. However, if you try to do that, you're probably not going to get a gold badge, and you might not even get a silver badge. You really have to be uh, very expeditious in this mission if you want to actually get a good score. Uh, so basically what you're going to want to do is, Crescent Island is pretty much an island that is like surrounded by mountains. And there are some mountains you can actually, you know, jump over. N not like literally over, but you know, jump along the sides of them, and then you know, move your way over the mountains. But, um, it doesn't work for all the mountains, because one thing about the Jumble Hopper is you can't really stand uh, on very high-angled slopes. Like, you can generally stand on, like, 45-degree angled slopes, but anything, like, higher than that, uh, there's a good possibility you might actually crash. So, uh, you're going to want to be careful with uh, slopes you try to ascend yourself on. Like, the slopes I'm using now are actually pretty good. But basically, you want to, you know, keep trying to get yourself over the island mountains, and then get to this point right here, and then it's pretty much just, you know, jumping to the goal. Really not that hard to do. And... Oh, jeez. Okay. Come on. Just jump in. Okay, good. Okay, good. 
Uh, that's probably not a perfect score, but yeah, that's pretty close. So next, we're actually going to do the longest of the Jumble Hopper missions, and perhaps my favorites. Uh, this one actually takes place on the Little States level, which, as you know, is pretty much a model of the United States. And you're pretty much starting from the west side of the island and trying to jump your way to the east side. Which is, I think, a very appropriate mission to use for the Jumble Hopper. Yeah, as you can see, the target's all the way in Washington, D.C., or at least the equivalent of Washington, D.C. Uh, there are several different ways you can do this. Um, what the game kind of encourages you to do is kind of, you know, go through the little canyon area and then move across the farmland. I actually like to do this in a very different way. It's kind of a weird way, and it may not even be the best way. But I usually get 100 whenever I do this, so... I mean... <laughs> If I get a hundred, I mean, I'm obviously doing something right. Uh, we'll see if I can actually do that again, but I'm not going to make any promises here. Uh, so yeah, basically what I like to do first is I like to kind of go northeast at first. Uh, just because there's a little part of land where you can actually, you know, bypass some of the major obstacles. Uh, the way I don't like about... Um, the reason I don't like using the kind of intended path across the canyon and stuff is because there's actually quite a bit of water and there's also, you know, the canyons themselves and you can get actually pretty stuck in those canyons and I'm obviously not one for getting stuck so I basically like to go northeast until I'm about in this area right here and then I just like to, you know, um, skim the shoreline until I get to a place where I can jump up and actually go to the target. I can't believe I actually lost two points right there, and right there. That's gonna suck, but... I mean, it should still be a 96 when it's all said and done, so... All I have to do now is just get there, and then yeah, I just ride the... forest area until I get to the targets. And as you can see, there's actually a city coming up right here. I believe that's supposed to be Chicago, I think. Because I think the body of water that's right next to it is supposed to be Lake Michigan. Which means that if you go south of Lake Michigan for a little ways, you can actually get to my home state, the great home state of Indiana. But since I'm being timed right there, I won't visit my state right now. Okay, let's just go up here, and I believe the target should be getting pretty close now. Okay, yep, there it is. It's right over this little hill right here. And very appropriately, the target is right in front of the White House. And for some reason, I missed the target again. Okay. That's one of the things I don't really like about the Jumble Hopper, is sometimes you can actually jump past the targets. It should have been more like the uh, green ball missions in uh, the Rocket Belt class where you can kind of, you know, at least get the ball somewhere in the middle of the funnel and then actually get it, but whatever. Okay, so that's it for the Jumble Hopper and that's about it for the side games. The next video I'm going to be covering the Birdman missions and then I'll also show off a few other secrets as well. And after that, the project should pretty much be over. So this is Slim Kirby. See you guys for that.